So freezing of gait is something that we see as a particular symptom that occurs in Parkinson's disease. As the disease progresses, the number of patients who will develop freezing or freezing of gait um, increases. So it seems to be correlated with disease duration and disease severity. And when we say freezing of gait, what we're really talking about is an inability to move your feet. And this can happen at various times. Sometimes it happens when people start to try and move, so we get start hesitation, they can't take a step. We can get people who will just freeze when they're walking down, if you like, in a straight line. And we can get people who will freeze, and probably the most common is when they're turning, so if they're making a tight turn, sort of going into a toilet and then making a 180 degree turn can be very, very good at provoking freezing episodes. Um, freezing also occurs commonly in patients when they're passing through a doorway, so as they come up to a doorway or even as they're going through a doorway, they can actually come to a grinding halt. Um, and of course, dual tasking, which is what we use as a shorthand term for, if you like, walking and chewing gum. So trying to, if you like, answer or hold a conversation while walking puts increased strain on the brain and the feet come to a grinding halt. And of course the real problem with freezing of gait is that it's an increased risk factor for falling over. As you can imagine, if you're walking and suddenly your feet don't move but your momentum carries you, your center of gravity changes and you'll end up having a fall. And our real challenge with freezing of gait at this time is we don't have any great treatments for freezing of gait specifically. If we think that freezing is something to do with being undertreated with the Parkinson's drugs, we can change things there. We can sometimes, if you like, use some of the advanced therapies, the device-assisted technologies like deep brain stimulation surgery, the duodopa, or the apomorphine pumps to try and control the level of symptoms and hopefully reduce the amount of freezing. But unfortunately, we don't have a specific, if you like, magic bullet for freezing. There are some research efforts going on, and I'll make a little clip about that in a second. But in terms of our established treatments, there are no specific measures that we can use. So often we'll say to our patients with freezing, please get involved in more physiotherapy. The secret to freezing is to try and make large movements where you're actually thinking about your feet moving rather than, if you like, relying on automatic movements, which is how we manage to walk.